So I'm Xiaoyin Chen. I'm an assistant investigator. I lead the barcoded connectomics project. I feel like in general doing science is like um, being an explorer. You get to see things that no one has seen before, do things that no one has done before. And I think Alan really gives a very good environment for doing that because it just has this whole focus on solving all these different things together. My name is Eric Ellers. I'm a research associate on the stem cells and gene editing team. Every cell line that we create is released to the public. The fact that we build a cell line that allows someone to visualize a particular organelle like the mitochondria, who knows what kinds of problems that they can solve using this tool. Building a scientific community that has those values I think is probably the most important thing and um, it directly comes through with the cell lines that I work on. My name is Ernie Coffey. I'm the Executive Director for Scientific Operations at the Allen Institute for Immunology. The way I see my role is it's all about enabling the science. You know, we have molecular biologists, we have immunologists, we have software engineers, we have automation engineers. Every person on the team is involved in the science planning and the experimental design and the science that gets done. Somebody newer in their career, it's a great place to learn, not only the lab techniques, but also how to be a scientist. My name is Daphne Toglia. I am an RA2, and I pretty much run the entire histology pipeline for neural dynamics. What also really impressed me by the Allen Institute were the affinity groups that were here. Um, I think that contributes to making everyone here at the Allen feel like they belong and that we're an inclusive nonprofit organization. The ESOL, Estamos Aquí, Somos Latines, we're focused on educating our coworkers about our Latina heritage, culture, and contributions. Being part of the LGBTQ plus community and participating in the Pride Parade, it was very special because it just demonstrates demonstrates the commitment that the Allen Institute has to inclusion and to basically seeing us and celebrating who we are. It's great to be able to step out of the lab, step out of the office, and have something else that just completely engages you. And I think that some of the best creative ideas that I've had as a scientist have come while I was off on a trip, right? Maybe dreaming a little bit about the lab. That doesn't have to be climbing, right? I mean, that can be whatever you do. Well, I, I, I play the piano. Um, I've been playing the piano for a long time. To some extent, it's similar to doing science. Like, if you want to play a piece really well, you have to understand the structure of the piece. You have to understand why the composer wrote in a certain way and what you can do with that. Right. So it's the same thing as what we're doing in the lab. Like We want to understand why you have the structure, what the structure is, why you have that structure, and what that structure can do. And once you can figure that out, then you can do things with it. What we're doing is not just within these walls, and it's not just inside of journal articles where science gets reported. We're going out and we're talking to our scientific peers and collaborators at conferences. We're hosting them here. Our Frontiers group is going out and finding new areas of biomedical sciences that are just being invented. And in our education program, we're going out and inspiring the next generation of students to become those scientists down the road. To go into a 10th grade class, you know, I was worried that the students were going to be falling asleep, but they were totally excited excited and after the class was over there was one student who came up to me and you know showed me his notebook and he was like I want to be an entomologist and I want to do gene editing to study insects like can you help me and I, it was it, it honestly like made my heart so warm because that's the exact you know kind of impact that I'm hoping and it was just great to actually get into the community and actually take the science we do here and bring it to a larger audience. It's just really cool to be able to know that what we're working on is simply because there's a scientific impact. You know, you may or may not be a scientist, but I think all of us will want purpose in our life and what we're doing. And I think that purpose fundamentally serves us all. You know, you have a bunch of people who are here because they value the open science principle and they value working on these interdisciplinary collaborative teams. It doesn't really make a, such a big difference. Like people who are interested in one problem, they work together and that brings different expertise, different perspectives all into the same problem. And that's really crucial. It's just fantastic to have access to all these people who are experts in their different domains and be able to contribute your small little part, but then know about all the work that all these other people do and then see that all come together to do something big.